Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my brothers and sisters Ramadan is going by so quickly has your life changed have you taken this month seriously yet before you know it it's going to come to an end and this may just be the last Ramadan that you and I are witnessing so the primary aim is to achieve god consciousness to achieve taqwa and to achieve the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so it's important for us to constantly ask Allah's forgiveness every day. One of the most blessed times that you could actually call out to Allah is the time of suhoor. That is a time, the last third of the night, the time of tahajjud, the time just before the fajr adhan uh, is called. And at this particular time, the hadith says, يَنزِلُ اللَّهُ تَبَارَكَ وَتَعَالَىٰ إِلَى السَّمَاءِ الدُّنْيَا كُلَّ لَيْلَةٍ حِينَ يَبْقَىٰ ثُلُثُ اللَّيْلِ الْأَخِيرِ فَيَقُولُ هَلْ مِنْ تَائِبٍ فَأَتُوبَ عَلَيْهِ وَهَلْ مِنْ مُسْتَغْفِرٍ فَأَغْفِرَ لَهِ وَهَلْ مِنْ سَائِلٍ فَأُعْطِيَهُ Allah Almighty descends to the lowest heavens in a manner that is befitting His majesty. And He calls out when the last third of the night remains, he calls out saying, is there anyone seeking forgiveness that I may forgive him? Is there anyone who is repenting that I can accept the repentance? And is there anyone asking me anything that I can give them? Now, the good thing about Ramadan is we're mostly awake at the time for suhoor in order to eat the pre-fast meal. And that time we don't realize that actually we should be also seizing the opportunity to do two more things. Number one is to call out to Allah with your needs because Allah is calling out at that time. Answer Allah to say, yes, I am the one who needs. I am the one who's repenting. I'm the one who's seeking forgiveness. That would definitely be a bonus. And together with that, the second thing is, it is the time of tahajjud, which is the best prayer after the farad prayer and the witr. This is the best in terms of the voluntary prayers. And the Prophet ﷺ used to read it quite regularly. If you were to look at what you can do to earn the pleasure of Allah, he mentions in the Quran, in Surah Al-Sajdah, تَتَجَافَ جُنُوبُهُمْ عَنِ الْمَضَاجِعِ يَدْعُونَ رَبَّهُمْ خَوْفًا وَطَمَعًا وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ Allah speaks of those men and those people who liven up their homes with the remembrance of Allah and those whom Allah loves. One of their qualities is their sides forsake their beddings at night. Uh, they call out to Allah with hope and with fear, fearing his punishment and hoping in his mercy. And they spend a lot from what Allah has given them. They spend in good causes. They look after people. They take care of the needs of others, financial and monetary. And Allah takes care of them, subhanAllah. So one of the qualities here is you must forsake your bedding for the pleasure of Allah. Look at Ramadan. We forsake our bedding for the pleasure of our bellies. Yes, that is quite true where we actually forsake our beddings in order to get up to have the pre, the pre fast meal known as the suhoor or the sihri. And yes, that's a sunnah indeed, but it's to do with our bellies, with our stomachs. How many of us would be prepared to get up on an ordinary night where we're not even going to be fasting outside of Ramadan for the pleasure of Allah in order to call out to him and to actually seek his forgiveness. So that is the blessed time. Let's try and make it a habit. Let's promise Allah once a week, twice a week, whatever we can, once a month, we can get up for Salat al-Tahajjud just for the sake of Allah. And we will be able to increase it and to get closeness to Allah with the sunnah and the nafila, which means that which was practiced by the Prophet ﷺ, but it's not compulsory and that which is totally voluntary. So my brothers and sisters, these are some really, really good reminders to say, let's use this month of Ramadan to give as well, to turn to Allah. When you give someone, Allah will give you. We've said it before, I repeat it. Allah says in Hadith Qudsi, Anfiq ya bna Adama, unfiq alayk. Spend, O son of Adam, I will spend on you. Which means when you give, I will give you. You learn to look after others, I will look after you. Subhanallah, you have mercy on others, I will have mercy on you. All those are far part of the ahadith of the Prophet ﷺ, wherein he explains what Allah has said. Now my brothers and sisters, surely this is a month of uh, rejuvenating, a month of revitalizing, 
a month of rekindling the relationship with Allah, a month of building on what we've done already, a month of resetting with our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a month of forgiveness, a month of the Qur'an, a month of peace and tranquility, the tranquility of the heart and the soul and the mind to begin with. And this comes about by listening to the Qur'an, by listening and reading and trying to look at the meanings and understand and by being calm when someone deals with you. The Prophet ﷺ says, when a person is fasting, if someone were to swear you or shout you, you should just say, I'm fasting. He says, but you yourself should never be vulgar and abusive, especially when you are fasting. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a good understanding. Now, during this month also, it's important to listen to reminders that will keep bringing you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and don't become tired of them because one day someone is going to say something that will change your life by the sake or by the, by the pleasure of Allah, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your life will change by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you keep listening to things, one day that will get to your ears which will really change you and you'll never regret. Remember, we should be coming Becoming better as time passes, not worse. <laughs> MashaAllah, tabarakallah. So my brothers and sisters, these are a few words I thought I'd share with you today just to boost you a little bit and myself and to give us that reminder that Ramadan is ticking away. Every night is a night where Allah writes the names of those who are granted freedom from hellfire. At least one of these nights, my name should be on there. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all goodness. Aqulu qawli hadha. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.